Bless the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Let's stand in the presence of the Lord as we begin our service. Bow your heads with me for prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, the name that is above every other name, Lord, <laughs> uh, the name at which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess, Lord. It is in this name and the name that you've given us permission to come in, Lord, that we come right now. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Lord, acknowledging that you are God all by yourself. You are the sovereign, holy, magnificent God. And this evening, Lord, as we come in your presence with hearts of gratitude, Lord, with full of thanksgiving, Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you've bestowed upon us on this day, Lord. Your mercy, Lord, and your grace. We are thankful. And God, you've allowed us to come through this day, Lord, and to make it to this moment, Lord, when we've come into your house, where we've gathered in your name, Lord, to worship you. Lord, it is our purpose this evening. We've come to worship and to exalt and to magnify you, Lord, because this is all about you, Lord. We said last night, Lord, we've come back to the heart of worship, and it's all about you. So this evening, Lord, we invite you. As we come before you, Lord, humbling ourselves and exalting your name, giving you the praise and the glory and the honor that is due to your name, I pray, Father, that you will be pleased to come among us, Lord, and dwell among us, Lord, and inhabit the praises of your people, Lord. Build your worship, God, on the throne as we worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. We present everyone who, shall, who have made themselves available, Lord, to be instruments to be used in this house, Lord. We commit them into your hand as we commit this entire service, God. We pray that you would have your own way. We pray, Lord, that your divine will will be done in this house. And so every aspect of worship right now, Lord, we lift before you. And we pray, God, that as it ascends to you, Lord, it will come as a sweet-smelling savor. We don't bring a song, Lord, but we bring a song of worship. And we pray, God, that you would be pleased, Lord, with our worship. You will be pleased to come down, Lord, and your presence will be seen and felt in this place. Lord, and at the end of it all, Lord, we shall lift our hands and lift our voices and say hallelujah to you, Lord, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, and the great I am. For, Lord, you will do more than we can even imagine. We take authority now over everything, God, that is not of you that would want to present itself. And, God, by the power of this same name, God, Lord, we command it to be stilled. And God, we declare that you alone will arise in this house. Your name alone will be worshipped. And every other God will be brought down. So take the honor, take the glory, take the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good night. We want to thank God for the prayer that has been offered up in this house tonight. Can we put our hands together as we welcome the presence of the Lord among us tonight. As we remain standing as our sister Alicia Braffitt will come to us and read this evening lesson. A blessed good evening to the household of faith hallelujah tonight's Bible reading is taken from st. Luke chapter 12 reading from verse 22 
to verse 40. King James Version, reading. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cupid? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not a ray like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not all, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, and if he, sorry, shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Here ends tonight Bible's reading. Amen. Amen. We want to thank Sister Alicia for the proclamation of the word. I want you to, before you see, I want you to put your hands together for our Reverend Murdoch Hines. He is our welcomer tonight. So I want you to welcome him because he is coming to welcome us. So you may take your seat as Reverend Hines comes to us to welcome us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we want to give God the glory this evening. Hallelujah. I am tasked with the responsibility of welcoming you, making sure that you are feeling good at the end of this evening session. Now, I want to begin by welcoming our parish director, and that's Reverend Andrea Ford, and I would like her to at, um, stand at this time. And while she is standing, I'm going to ask the Bibby's Lane Church members to also stand with her, and she is also pastor of that church. All right. 
Then we go to the assistant parish director, Reverend Ruth Hines. Anybody know that person? No. And we are going to ask the members of the New Testament Church of God to stand with her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and we go to our brother, Mar um, Pastor Marlon Gutens. He's from the Jackman Church. And I'm going to ask his members to stand with him. Amen. Then we move to our Reverend Raul Evelyn, the senior pastor of the River Road Church and our assistant pastor. Pastor Bernadette Cadevin, and we are going to ask all the members of, Good, of River Road, the Testament Church, to stand at this time and support the pastor. Yeah. We know you are the most in the house, and that's for obvious reasons. We want to thank God. There were some who, from Sunday, did an excellent job in the behind the scenes, the support staff. And we have the technical staff. Those are the ones who make sure that the mics are going well and the YouTube are, is going well, etc. So we have the technical staff, the musicians. We also have the ushers and the parking assistants. They are extremely important, although they might not play a role on the pulpit. So we want to give them a rousing hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We also want to welcome, by faith, our guest speaker and his wife, our guest speaker, Reverend Kevin Marshall, his wife, Sherry Ann, Sherry Ann and then there's an entourage that normally travel with him. I'm sure some of you are here. We want you to stand at this time. And we are going to welcome you. All right. Praise the Lord. We want to also welcome all those who are visiting with us this evening. There are some who don't belong to SMS, but you heard that the food that is cooking is exceptional and therefore you came over we want you to stand at this time so that we can welcome you seems as though they are shame you shame oh okay. it's quite all right if you come for food <laughs> hallelujah over 50 years ago i I used to make sure that I attend my church, but let me tell you something. When church wasn't being held, I used to be at every other church around the area that had good food. That's the way that you grow, you see? Amen. So it's quite all right. It's quite all right. We want to welcome those who are online this evening. There are some who have followed us over the past few days from Sunday and there's a I almost said young lady but she is not that young these days but she is there in Brixton and she 
is one who follow our streams and I told her this evening that I'm going to make sure I welcome her Reverend Selma Blackman she is very much a Barbadian but she has been in England for over 40 years so we want to welcome her this evening as well and then there's one more but I'm not welcoming him. The triune God I'm acknowledging because he doesn't need a welcome. I tell people I don't invite people who should be at church or who is a member to come to church. They ought to be here. And God was here. We left him here. Come back and found him here. I want you to acknowledge him. I want to stand at this time and I want to acknowledge him. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and ye, ye lift it up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Hallelujah, the Lord mighty in battle. He is. Hallelujah, lift up your heads, all ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King? of glory the Lord of hosts I said the Lord of hosts hallelujah the Lord of hosts he is this king of glory God bless you this evening hallelujah 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 amen Indeed, our God is worthy to be praised. I want to acknowledge our Reverend Singh, who is among us tonight again. Ma'am, we bless you. And I also want to acknowledge our pastor, Moving Nichols, who is with us tonight, and her husband. We want to put our hands together for her. Amen. A very wonderful woman of God. Amen. David asked the question, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits? And David decided in his own heart what he was going to give to God. As a worship team comes tonight, I am asking you to decide in your own heart what you will render to the Lord for all his benefits. Can you put your hands together as we welcome the worship team from Bibby's Lane and Jackman, New Testament Church of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. And to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we just want to bless your name. We just want to glorify your name. We just want to exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 What is our prayer today? Hallelujah. The song simply says, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Hallelujah. Do we want to see him today? Hallelujah. I certainly want to see him high and lifted up. Hallelujah. To see his glory fill the temple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For where his glory is. Hallelujah. Situations have to change. Hallelujah. Needs are met. Hallelujah. We want that encounter with God today, hallelujah. Well, I ain't know about you, but I want that encounter with God today, hallelujah. 
And we simply say, open the eyes of our hearts, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, we want to see you, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you.
to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy. Hallelujah. We want to see you, Lord God. Father, we join with the angels. Hallelujah. We join with the saints, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we declare that you are worthy of it all. Hallelujah. Father, nothing in this world makes sense, Lord God, if you are not with us. Hallelujah. So we simply join with the saints and the elders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we cast our crowns before you, Lord God. And we declare that you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah.
the glory. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy of it all. <laughs> You're worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Do we have a praise to give to our God who is worthy, who was and is and is to come? Hallelujah. The Lord God omnipotent. Hallelujah. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who woke you up this morning? Hallelujah. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Lord, we wouldn't get tired praising you. Hallelujah! The writer says, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, that name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah! Do you have a praise tonight? Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. And what I love about my God, hallelujah, is that he loves me and we would have heard about him. We can sit on his, at his feet, hallelujah. And we can love on him, hallelujah, because he died just for me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sound simply says, who am I? Once we understand our position in Christ, hallelujah, we can shake off those things that hold us, hallelujah. We can speak to those things that hold us back, hallelujah, and declare that I am a child of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, who am I? Hallelujah, hallelujah. But he brought me in Oh, his love for me Oh, his love for me Who am I? Who am I that the highest king Would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me
Position in Christ. Hallelujah. 
We can speak to anyone. Hallelujah. We can tell them about Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's within us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when we do that, we want to see Jesus lifted high. A banner, hallelujah, across this island, across FMS, across Bibi's Lane. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to get ready to receive the offering. Hallelujah. And so I'm just going to pray. Hallelujah. And then we're going to go into that song. Hallelujah. Father God, we just want to give you thanks. Hallelujah. <laughs> because you are the great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Songwriter says you are a very big God tonight. Hallelujah. And we celebrate you tonight, God. And Father, even as we brought our offerings into this place, hallelujah. Father, we pray, Lord God, that you will bless it, that you will multiply it. Hallelujah. Father, there are some of us, hallelujah, that might be having financial needs today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But as we stretch out our hands in faith, hallelujah, we declare, hallelujah, debts will be paid today in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that we will not lack anything, hallelujah. So, Father, we give thanks for the offering that will be collected. We thank you, Lord God, for the gifts that you will bless us with as well, God. And we say just have your way in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So get ready to give your offerings. Hallelujah. As we declare that we want to see Jesus. What? Lifted high. Hallelujah. We want to see Jesus lifted high. A banner that flies across this land. See the truth and know He is the way to heaven We want to see Jesus lifted high A banner that flies across this land Then all let me see the truth and know That He is the way to heaven We want to see Jesus lifted We wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted. We wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. A banner that flies across His land. Let all men see the truth and know He is the way to heaven. We wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. Yeah, we wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted Hallelujah! Step by step we're moving forward, little by little we gain the ground. Every prayer a powerful weapon, song goes on, tumbling down and down. We wanna see Jesus lifted high. Yeah, we wanna see. We wanna see. We wanna see Jesus lifted. We're moving forward, step by step. We're moving forward, little by little. We're gaining ground. Every prayer a powerful weapon. Strongholds come stumbling down. Jesus lifted high. Yeah. A 
And the brace just simply says, step by step, we're moving forward. Little by little, we're gaining ground. Every prayer, you know when you start to say, Lord, help me. And the armies come, hallelujah. Hallelujah, every prayer, a powerful weapon. Hallelujah, that strongholds come, tumbling down. When I got strongholds tonight, hallelujah. Every prayer. A powerful weapon. Hallelujah! Strongholds coming down tonight. Hallelujah! Strongholds coming down tonight. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. He is worthy to be praised. He is the God of our salvation the one in whom we are indebted to at this time i want you to take your seat i want to acknowledge our apostle kevin harris and his wife sherry and prophetess sherry ann who would have come in after the entourage we are thanking you sir for being with us we thank god for you have been blessing us each from sunday morning last night and we are expecting tonight's blessing tonight being the last night of the feast and we are expecting Kevin Marshall I said Harris I'm, I'm probably connecting the two <laughs> probably connecting the two amen he understands what I mean amen I want to invite our sister Susan Archer Griffith to come at this time and to read the bio after which immediately we would have our apostle Kevin, Har Kevin Marshall would come to us and he would deliver the word of the Lord. God bless you, sir. Amen. Good evening to the church. Apostle Kevin Marshall is a young dynamic man who has yielded his life to the service of the great God and creator of the universe. His Christian journey started at the age of 26 under the leadership of Pastor Lester Carter. His zeal was later captured, nurtured, and groomed with the guidance of Bishop Francis Harris, who took him to Trinidad on his first missionary trip. With God's hand upon his life, he undertook further apostolic training, both here in Barbados and Dallas, Texas. On completion of his training, he went on to minister across the nations of the Caribbean, the United States of America, Vancouver, Canada, and Uganda, Africa. Another notable highlight in his ministry came when he spoke at the National Honor Thy Father service, where internationally acclaimed gospel singer Jonathan Nelson was the featured artist. Also during the African ministry trip, he was featured on urban TV and NTV stations in Uganda. He would encapsulate all of this by saying, all to the glory of our great God. Apostle Kevin is a prayer warrior and mighty intercessor. He walks in a grace that develops strong and powerful intercessory bodies, as he is very strategic in spiritual warfare. This man of power and purpose is humble, yet electrifying and a highly sought after speaker. Prior to his official elevation to the office of apostle, 
On the 14th of August, 2022, he flowed as an ordained prophet of God, and he is the founder and pastor of Prophetic Prayer Protocol Ministries International. Apostle Kevin is the loving husband of prophetess Sherry Ann Marshall and a beloved father to their children. Please stand as we welcome our guest speaker for the St. Michael's South Parish Convention 2024, Apostle Kevin Marshall. Continue to clap for the Lord Jesus. You can do a little bit better than that. Clap your hands like you're going to clap it off. Jesus is in the house. The Lord is large and in charge. Come on, open up your mouth and tell God something. Open up your mouth and talk to Jesus. Come on, he is Lord and he is God. Uh, yes, yes, I'm not going to move until you talk to him. Talk to him. Shabababababanda. Kuriasi andale bo shadi shabranda katu celebrenda kati. Come on, you want him to talk tonight? We'll talk to him. You have not come to see a man. You have come to meet with Jesus. Come on, Nandorisi. Open up your mouth and lift up your voices, Zion. Lift up your voices, Zion. Atabaku siyanta. Come on, Zion. Come on, Nambrinsi di libranda kabatu sharibanda. Set an atmosphere in this place. Mabri sikai labrandu shariba. Shari sutaya namai. God, you are worthy. Kadabo sianda. Shibundi kata. Keep praying, keep praying. Father, we thank you on tonight. We praise you, God. We worship you. Father, we adore you, God. We bless your name, Father. We honor you, Lord. We thank you, God, for this night. Father, we thank you for the gathering of your people. Indeed, Lord, they have come to the ground and they have come to the pillar of truth. Father, tonight, let God arise. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Just a little bit more on the mic and I'm good. Madai Soto Shabranda Kata. Let chains be broken, God. We, your saints, we have come together. We have come into this atmosphere, Lord. And we declare that it is shifted. Dopa Sika. The anointing breaks the yoke in this place tonight. Lord, the anointing moves in this house on tonight. Father, we thank you for the victory over all and over everything shabatako selama shando rebeka sataya shibobobo senanamande come on you are healing sick bodies already lord i see sugar diabetes drying up already i see cancer drying up already ah yes lord i see chains breaking already i see demons being cast out already I thank you in this atmosphere, Lord, that you are the spirit. In the Shaya, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Come on, liberate your people, Jesus. Come on, don't move, don't move. Let's begin to give him all, give him all. Liberate your people mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Liberate them, God. Liberate them in this house. Do a new thing for them. Let there be transformation. By the time they leave this house on tonight, they will know that they have met with Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, you're not praying with me. Kanamasa, open up your mouth. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. You've got to tell Jesus something. Mando Sheneme Shanamanda Ka. Father, you are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ayala Thank you, Father. Mato celebrote. Thank you. Oh, my eyes are opening up in this place. My eyes are opening up in this place. Shabababamanda kataya. Come on, keep praying. Two more minutes. My eyes are opening up in this place. Lemanakato. 
I'm seeing a little bit past the natural. I'm seeing a little bit past the natural. Keep praying. Keep praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Clap your hands for the Lord. The protocol being observed already, I want to give place to the word of the Lord on tonight and see what God will do on the back end. Amen. I want you to grab your Bibles with me. Praise Jesus. Thank all of you for coming out on the final night. We've had a wonderful three nights thus far in the presence of the Lord. And we want to thank God for all that he's doing. It's a bit of echoing, but I, I know you'll get it right. Last night it was so good. The, the mic was awesome. Last night, I know you're trying your best and you're doing your best. Amen. But I thank God. Amen. Grab your Bibles right now and turn to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew, Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. And I'm going to read from verse 13 to 20. I want to just give place to the word of the Lord and see how God will move on tonight. Matthew chapter 16. I'm going to go from verse 13 to 20. The epicenter of the message is actually verse 19, which I'll illuminate for you. I'll illuminate verse 19 for you, but as it is my custom, because it's the epicenter of the message, I'll read it twice. And I'm reading the King James Version. I'm reading that version of the Bible, and it says thus. It says, when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said unto them, but whom say you that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say on also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And then charge he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. I want to read verse 19 one more time. And it reads thus. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven i want to speak from the subject tonight keys are for those that know him keys are for those that know him look at the person next to you and ask them very nicely do you know him come on look for another neighbor and say neighbor this is not disrespect i'm just asking the question do you really know him do you really? Well, if I'm supposed to look for him, I need to know him. Father, tonight I bless you. I give you praise. Your word is blessed. Help me. Amen. You can be seated. Dearly beloved, tonight it's a distinct privilege of mine 
to make us continually aware of the seriousness of the current age we are living in. We are living in times, beloved, that are dreadfully immoral. We are the conscience of men has been seared, no doubt, with an hot iron. We are living in the generation that folk are speaking lies and hypocrisy. According to First Timothy chapter 4, this is the age, children of God, that Isaiah prophesied concerning. In Isaiah chapter 5 in verse 20, the prophet, the eagle eye prophet as we know him to be, he looked into a time where folk would call evil good and good evil. He looked into a time where they would put darkness for light and light for darkness. Bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. In this age, men would be wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. I love how 2 Timothy chapter 3 puts it. If you may, Timothy said to his young, Paul said to his young mentee, Timothy, he declared how that in the last days, men shall be lovers of themselves. He said they'll be covetous. They'll be boasters. They'll be proud. They'll be blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. He said they'll be despisers of those that are good. They will have a form of godliness. But they will deny the power of God. Paul went on to declare, beloved, how that they would ever be learning and never would come to the knowledge of the truth. Beloved, make no mistake about it. These are the end times and we are living amidst a people who are laden with iniquity. A seed of evildoers. People that are corrupted, they are corruptors, they are gone away backward. We are living, according to Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 4, that a people that have forsaken the Lord and they have provoked the Holy One to anger. People that have gone so far from God that when Isaiah looked at it, Pastor, Isaiah said, when I compare it to the ox and the ass, Isaiah said, the ox knows his owner and asks his master's crib, but my people does not consider. These people, beloved, are the people that Jeremiah spoke of in Jeremiah chapter 2 in the 13th verse. He said, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me the fountain of living water and they have hewn to themselves broken cisterns that can hold no water beloved of God it tells me emphatically and assuredly tonight that many of the issues which are before us today has stemmed from a lack of the knowledge of God I don't know if you would agree to, with me tonight but I really believe that if folk had understood who God was or who he is that they would not live the life that they are living. I believe tonight that if we had a good understanding of the Lord, we would have been aware of the seriousness of the God that we serve. Make no mistake on tonight, God is a spirit church. God is not a man. God is not a man. God is a spirit. The reality is, is that Hosea in the fourth chapter, in the sixth verse, he said, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge is the thing that would differ defeat my people. Hosea said mm, that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He said because thou has rejected knowledge I will also reject thee. So the reality is here that, mm, that this knowledge that God
God is talking about, the knowledge of God, is actually not head knowledge. This knowledge is not head knowledge. Look at your neighbor and say, it's not head knowledge. Beloved, you can be in God without a knowledge of who he is. The reality is, is that the knowledge that God is talking about here is revelatory knowledge. It's knowledge that stem from the heart experience that you have with the Lord. Beloved, I can announce to us tonight, there are many people in church that does not have a knowledge of God. You can be in God. You can be saved. You can be in church, but don't have a knowledge. You can, you can be calling on the name of God, but still don't have a knowledge. You don't have a knowledge of who he really is. You can be in the building. You can be in the building, but without an encounter with God. Can I tell somebody tonight that knowledge is the byproduct of an encounter for those that are writing i want you to write that knowledge is the byproduct of an encounter the more you encounter god the more your knowledge of him intensify mm. but revelation now is the fruit gain through experience in the encounters with god i'm going to repeat that revelation is the fruit gain through experience in the encounters with god you you don't get a revelation of God until you have encountered God. Uh, revelation or revelatory streams flow profoundly as you become experienced in the encounters of God. You see him in a new light. Uh, can I tell somebody on tonight mm, that after you have been with God for some time, he expects us to have had enough encounters with him that needs that leads us to a knowledge of him and revelation in him that causes us to know him God is not satisfied with us being in church for 15 years and still don't know who he is can I talk to somebody I know you have a seat on the right or on the left and the building is partially yours but do you know him I know you're on the usher board but, but do you know him I know that you are a bishop from 19 oh how long but I want to ask you the question do you do you do you know him I know that you've been ordained recently but do you know him that's the question I want to leave with us tonight do you really know him so the equation then is encounters breed divine knowledge encounters they breed divine knowledge when you encounter God you experience God and your knowledge of God in intensifies uh, divine knowledge now breed divine revelation when you get the knowledge of God and he begins to unfold who he is unto you you see him not just from a head experience or you don't just hear of him you know him you really know him and so beloved of God unto night the revelation of God now pushes us into right relationship with God you cannot possibly have have a revelation of God and live contrary to God it's not possible because the revelation of God the first thing it's going to do is teach you how to live in God if you really know God if you really walk with God there's some things we just cannot do oh, Lord do I have anybody in the house on tonight that is really saved and set apart when you have a revelation of God God. there's certain things you cannot speak and so the trouble today that we have in church is that we have many people that are calling on God but they don't really know God that's why they treat the brother like that and that's why they act a fool like that and that's why they do the things that they do that's why they do all types of immoral and illicit things because they don't have a revelation of who he is when you have a revelation of who he is you can't lay down in sin and be happy am I talking to somebody up in here don't get quiet on me on tonight you, you can't have a revelation of who he is and be satisfied with a mediocre Christian walk you, you, you can't have a revelation of who he is and be satisfied with a 
create a baby prayer life. I'm a, you can't have a revelation of who he is and be satisfied that you can't even call on him. Oh God, in times of trouble, I wish I had somebody that were with me here tonight because I want you to know on tonight that my assignment in this place is bringing you to a knowledge or a greater knowledge of who he is. And so, beloved, tonight in St. John chapter 14 is an interesting account where Philip asked the Lord to show us the Father. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. And the response of Jesus was what triggered me. In my time of study, I heard Jesus say to him, Philip, I want to ask you a question. Have I been so long a time with you and yet you have not known me, Philip? Oh God, have I been with you for so long and yet you still do not know who I am, Philip? I've walked with you from Jerusalem to Galilee. I've done all types of things in front of you. You've seen the miracles. I've done all types of glorious works. You had experiences with me, but you're still asking me to show you the Father. Philip, I want you to know tonight that he that have seen me have seen the Father, but the question is there. Have you seen him? <laughs> that is the question there. Be because that seeing there it does not mean, it does not mean to be, to actually look with a physical eye. It, it actually means, have you gotten a revelation of me? Oh God, because you can see a person, but it doesn't mean that you know a person. Can I talk to somebody up in here? You can see a person, but it doesn't mean that you've had encounters with that person, that you know them in the depths to say that you know them, know them. There are many people on tonight mm -hmm, that hear the word preach. They come to church. They dress very well. They do all types of stuff in the building, but they have not seen him yet. They, they, they have not seen him yet. Oh God, there's some that play the instrument. They, they, they do all types of things. They have a lot of talent, but they have not seen him yet. How do I know when you see him? I'm going to get there. Jesus said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. You can be with him, but not know him. But it's hard to have an encounter and not be divinely connected to him. Anytime you had an encounter with the Lord, my God, it pushes you right into connection. Simply because encounters produce keys for it's the encounter that causes you and I to know him. The more we encounter him, church, I'm here to provoke you. The more we encounter him, the more we mature in him. The more we mature in him, the more we are revelated are revolutionized by him. Revelation is actually the spiritual manure that enhances, equip, empower, and, uh, and, and push the believer to the next level. You are not moving until you've been revelated. Oh God, you're not moving until your mind has been changed. Are you with me up in here? You can shake, you can butt, you can dance, but if you don't have a revelation, there's no progression. I'm getting ready to preach up in here. I don't want to be long tonight, but I want you to know uh, that it's the revelation of God uh, that is going to push you to your next dimension. So we must be a people who live in the encounters of God and who feast on revelation. I don't just read my Bible, church. I don't move until I get a revelation. When I take up the scripture, I am there until a key drops into my heart uh, when I go into prayer I don't leave until a key drops in my spirit I'm not just going there to sound good when
when I show up to prayer meeting, I've got to leave with a revelation of something. Oh God, I feel the glory. Without a knowledge of God, watch this, I'm going to build it, trust me. We're going to holler up in here. Without a knowledge of God, we cannot fully know our identity in God. For those that are writing, I want you to write that. Without a knowledge of God, we cannot fully know our identity in God. For those that are writing, I, I want you to write. Our identity is tied to who he is. I must know him to know me. And that's why a lot of people tonight don't know themselves. Because you have not known him yet. The more of him you get, the more of you you see. Can I preach up in here? Uh, so then the believer that understands this knows why he or she must be in hot pursuit of God because it is here that everything about their lives body soul and spirit is revealed can I announce to all and sundry tonight that knowing God is the ultimate achievement of life I'm sorry to disappoint you you probably thought that it was a Grammy you probably thought that it was a Dove Award you probably thought that it was a degree you probably thought that it was a million dollar on the bank as long as you know God is enough. Can I talk to somebody up in here? Uh, God, you do your robo Hosea. Here is what Jeremiah said because I'm going to give you a Bible to back up what I'm saying. In Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 to 25, here is what the prophet said. He says, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches but let him that glory glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me uh, the achievement of life the ultimate achievement is to come into the knowledge of who he is is to get to know him for himself and for yourself I've got to know him better than I know my pastor I thank God for the messages that my pastor preached I thank God for the apostle but I've got to know him a little bit deeper than I know my husband you're not hearing me up in here I've got to know him a little bit deeper than I know my wife I've got to walk with the Lord oh God the Bible says he is the Lord which exercises loving kindness and judgment and righteousness in the earth the, the issue with this generation is that because because they have not fully opened up to understanding and knowing God we have become a people which believe a lie because any time that you know God there are certain things that you just can't believe Lord, oh God, there are people that they run with every wind and every doctrine. Oh God, as long as they hear it, they believe that it is that the thing that God has said. And so we have many prophets, in, and I'm not against the prophetic flow in that. And we have many apostles. We have we have many preachers that have gone the way of Balaam, and they have gone the way of Korah, and they have gone the way of Dothan and Byram. They have gone the wrong way they have corrupted their way but we cannot discern because we don't have a knowledge of God and so the blind now begins to lead the blind and the Bible says they both will fall into a ditch but lift up your hands and tonight declare that I am spiritually intelligent I know the God of glory come on declare it one more time with me and said I'm spiritually intelligent and I know the God of glory in this new age Christianity if you do not have a big house and this is what is the theology for this generation if you do not have a big house if you don't drive a BMW if you don't live in the house if you are not in some circles and in some spheres you have no knowledge of God some would even dare to tell you that God is not even with you and we have American the gospel and now 
the theology of this age is that you've got to have all these things to prove that you know God but in case you didn't know beloved tonight my relationship with God is spiritual I'm not against prosperity because I believe in prosperity but God is a spirit you can't discern if I know God by what I have because a man's life does not consist in the abundance of the things in which he possesses, and so we manipulate the gospel and the gospel that is unadulterated they begin to turn it and twist it upside down but I've come to tell somebody tonight that folk have become spiritually malnourished because they begin to discern or see that if they have the things that looks good on the outward oh lord it means that they have God but I've been to many places and I've been over many waters I've been over many seas I've traveled long hours and I've preached the gospel all over and I've come to realize that the knowledge of God had nothing to do with what you have because you can have the world's good and don't have God but you can have a little is there anybody tonight and you can have a whole lot of God in your spirit you can have a whole lot of God in your heart you can have a whole lot of God in your soul oh Lord I feel something pushing me pastor I want to take my time a little bit because I want to get to where I need to get but something is moving me here oh lord tonight here is jesus when he looks at revelation chapter 3 oh god he sends unto the church at laodicea he said because you say i am rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked they had a whole lot but when it came to the knowledge of God they lacked the potency of that knowledge and Jesus said I counsel you to buy of me gold tried in the fire that you may be rich white ramen that you might be clothed and anoint thy eye with eye salve that you might see uh, he says behold I stand at the door and knock and if any man hear my voice and open the door I will come into him and sup with him and he with me irrespective of this church at Laodicea's uh, condition spiritually I know at the end of the year Laodice Laodicea probably looked like a church that uh, they, they were doing a whole lot of, uh, of numbers amen they were doing a whole lot of numbers when the accounts was done at the end of the year Laodicea looked good on the outside but when the one that walked in the midst of the seven candlesticks uh, came in and looked uh, he didn't see the money uh, he see the condition of their soul he saw the condition of their spirit so it tells me then beloved with all the money that you have with all the things that you achieve I want to ask one question do you know him a lot of us knew God until we got some things some of us it would be better if we didn't get certain things because if we didn't get certain things we would have still have God but there are certain things that moved us out of the place with God you don't want to talk back to me tonight you're going to make me preach real hard up in here you better talk back to me uh, we moved out of the place with God uh, God but I thank God on tonight uh, Lord when there is no fellowship with, with God we are blinded to his characteristics I want to know God I want to know God because if I know God anything is possible somebody give him glory right now when our focus becomes materialistic uh, it hinders our relationship with God I said when our focus mm, becomes materialistic it hinders our relationship with God but above everything tonight I stand as a mouthpiece of God and as an oracle in this place God want more than anything else that his people would know him high five your neighbor and ask them for the second to last time said do you know him do you know him oh Lord God Almighty I want to know him in every season 
There's some people that only know him when the cupboards are full. But I want to know him in every setback. I want to know him in every struggle. I want to know him when I'm strong. I want to know him when I'm weak. I want to know him in pain. When I'm in problems, in the highs. I want to know him in the lows. I said God wants you to know him. Every opportunity you get with God. It's a time to know him. High five somebody one more time. And said I want to know him. I, I, I really want to know. Tell them I really want to know him. I really want to know him. The patriarchs of old. The patriarchs of old. They dined out in this stuff. The, the, these people. They wanted to know God to the point where. They would have risked their life in a time that they should have never been even in God's face. They risked their lives to get to know God. Matter of fact, Moses said, God, I want to see your glory. I want to see your glory. I want to see you a little bit more than what I see. And God says, you've asked this thing. I'm going to put you in a place by me. Are you in that place? I'm going to put you in a place by me. I'm going to etch you in the rock. And I'm going to pass by you. You can't see my face because if you see my face, you're going to die. But I'm going to show you my back parts. And I'm going to open up to you a dimension that nobody have ever seen concerning me. The patriots of old, they love God to the point that whenever they got an encounter with God, they called them something. How many of you know that every time you encounter God, you can, you can label that place. You can call him something. I don't know about you, but I encountered a healer very early in my life. I said, the doctor said Kevin won't live. My mother told me that the doctor said there's nothing more that I can do for this boy. You, you better come and see the boy because he's on his way out and mommy tell me he told me she told me she told me she went there and she said well if Kevin is going to die don't let him die on that bed just take him off the machines and put Kevin in my hand oh I don't know if there are any mothers up in here but but look at the boy that they said they won't have to oh you not hearing me up in here ah he's not going to live but who can determine your death when God has said you're going to live? Ain't no rich, no wizard, or no warlock. I don't know who wanted my death in that day. But the Lord said he will live and preach the gospel. You're not hearing me up in here. In Genesis chapter 22 and 14, Abraham met him as provider and called him Jehovah Jireh. In Exodus 17 and 15, in the battle at Rephidim, Moses met him against Amalek and called him Jehovah Nissi his banner and so beloved tonight we see many encounters that the patriots had they called him Jehovah Shalom they called him Jehovah Tiskindu they called him Jehovah Makedash but after Moses came face to face with him at the burning bush God revealed himself by a name that no one knew him as he announced him himself as the I am that I am he said this is my name forever it's my memorial to all generations and so beloved of God Moses at that point grabbed that king uh, because Moses said now when I go back to bring them out and they ask me who is the God that you're telling me about what do I tell them I'm gonna ask the question what do you tell people you can only tell them when you've had an encounter otherwise your witness is weak and so beloved of God Moses went back to Egypt and when they asked the question he says that I am that I am sent me and Moses stood up in front of Pharaoh as bad as he was Moses said the I am that I am he said let my people go you don't understand this Pharaoh I'm not coming out of the water I'm coming out of an encounter you're not hearing me here he was on the mount I'm getting ready up in here 
because I feel glory about to hit this house and so beloved of God there are some of us tonight that don't even understand that the situation you are dealing with is going to bow to an encounter all God is doing is keeping it there so that you can run into him and get the encounter all God is trying to do is reveal a little more of himself so that he can reveal a little more to you and so beloved of God on tonight it is my privilege tonight with this understanding to tell you that in Matthew chapter 16 this is why Jesus inquired of their knowledge of his identity in Caesarea Philippi and so beloved according to theologian Caesarea Philippi was the hub for witchcraft and pagan worship. It is interesting to know that when Moses was going back to Egypt to a dark place God gave him an encounter with his name. Oh God have mercy. I'm going to say it over here for three people that will catch it. When Moses was going back to Egypt God gave him an encounter with his name. Somebody didn't hear me here. But it was a name beloved tonight that nobody knew him by. It was a name that nobody had called him by. And now the brethren gets to say Caesarea Philippi and time will fail me but I've got to tell you it was known for idolatry the place was dark similar to Egypt it was the place where the atmosphere was spiritually pungent it was at Caesarea Philippi that the Canaanite god Baal the god of fortune was worshipped the, the Greek god Pan was worshipped here as well it was at Caesarea Philippi that this part man part goat demon was the head over that congregation at Caesarea Philippi I'm talking about the devil's congregation do you know that the devil have a congregation do you know that do you think that you're the only one that we know we, we have a congregation but the devil have a congregation at Caesarea Philippi the congregation worship a part goat part man demon it was there that many ungodly statues of the nymphs were now nymphs were supernatural beings which govern air seas water woods or land what we know to be strong principalities what we know to be ruling spirits demons who rule territory and were demonically assigned to reign over demonic strongholds and Jesus drags the boys into this place mm -hmm. I'm a pastor I um, believe me and I would have never carried some of my people in that place I would have probably gone myself but I, as some people I wouldn't have carried but Jesus is not like us they have to learn the lesson and Jesus drags them in Caesarea Philippi great temples and monuments onto other gods were there they glorified the hands of men at Caesarea Philippi it was men like Emperor Augustus Herod the Great and Tiberius Caesar that was lofty in Caesarea Philippi a man called Nero was held in high esteem at Caesarea Philippi and even though very wicked and ungodly these men were the big men in Caesarea Philippi it was here that they slaughtered Jews executional style and pour their blood on the ground to feed their demons I'm giving you a little background of how dark that place was it was here that they had demonic entities and they did demonic fetishes and they did all types of orgies Caesarea Philippi on the outside you would have never tell because it looked very beautiful it was laden with mountains and springs and lush green grassy fields it was 1150 feet above sea level it was strategically positioned next to the Jordan Valley which is known to be the place of power oh God and Jesus gets there and this place is a picture of beauty but on the inside it is spiritually dark am I hearing you am mm -hmm. I hearing you am I hearing you I'm not hearing you somebody said it sounds like Barbados to me I can hear you picture it 
dangerous but 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 spiritually dark it looks so beautiful but very dark uh, God it was here uh, that they had idol worship uh, you might not know but I'm telling you uh, they worship a lot of foolishness here uh, they had satanic shrines it's just that they didn't put their labels on it yet but when you turn outside of the gap uh, and you turn right you will know what I'm talking about uh, it's closer to you than you think uh, it was here that they had pagan practices uh, demonic ritual I'm not afraid trust me demonic rituals blood sacrifices and bloodshed but right in the midst of it all Jesus asked the question who do men say that I am in other words what is your revelation of me theologically amidst the darkness can you see through the darkness and see who I am oh I'm God the, the darkness is not an issue the issue is if you're gonna be the light can you see through the darkness and still see who I am I'm not worried about the darkness because I'm the light of the world I'm not worried about the darkness because I'm the salt of the earth and I'm looking through the darkness because I gotta see who he is I'm looking through the darkness because the darker it gets the brighter I shine look at your neighbor real quick and tell them that who is he now I want you to know here I want you to know here when Jesus asked them concerning men I'm going to get there. When Jesus, pastor, asked them concerning men, he is trying to, to, to wear their, theolo their, their theological uh, structure out. Because there's revelation and there's things that you can get from men. Yes, you, you can get them from men. And he, he said, now, who do the men say that I am? And the, the disciples responded, and says, some men say that you're John the Baptist. Another set of men say that you are Elias. Another set of men say that you are Jeremiah. Some say that you, you might be just one of the prophets. But then he says, I don't want to hear what men say. I want to hear what you. B because it, it's not what men say that is going to make the difference. It's what the church says. Oh Lord, have mercy. Men can say what they want, but they don't stop. If you go on social media right now, they're probably saying something. But, but what is the church saying? Do you have a revelation of who he is? Now I want you to know, beloved, tonight, uh, God, that Elijah was known as the prophet who called down fire from heaven. He's known for his ability in warfare and restoration. For he helped restore Israel, pastor. So there were some men that knew him from that dimension. They, they know him from the, from, the, from the spear of warfare. And then there was Jeremiah that they said, some men say that he's like Jeremiah. There are some men because Jeremiah was known to be the weeping prophet. Because of the affliction that he had to endure. There are some believers that know him in their affliction. Are you with me here tonight? If it wasn't for the affliction, you wouldn't have known him in some cases. If it wasn't for the war you had to went through some of you wouldn't have known him some believers said it is like John the Baptist but John the Baptist was the one that preached repentance on judgment through acceptance by baptism through water so there are some people that know him from their first step or their first encounter they just know that they got saved something happened they felt something shifted in their heart and they know him I'm going to repeat for those that are writing some know him through the affliction some know him through restoration and some know him through repentance through acceptance but how many of you know that's not enough Jesus is looking for folk that know him a little bit deeper and know him a little bit more he, he said that's not enough you, you've got to come past the first principles and your knowledge of me you just can't stay at the first step you've got to go a little bit further and go a little bit deeper because there's more about me to know oh lord have mercy i'm 
I'm getting ready. There's more about me to know than the little that you know. This relationship with God, it is one that you continue to search out. God, you can know me in the affliction. You can know me by restoration. And you can know me through repentance. But I want you to know, but there are keys to be released to every believer. But I'm asking the question tonight, have you got a key yet? have you have a key yet? every believer should have a key there's something that God should have told you that he never told anybody else oh Lord of mercy there is something that God should have told you that he never told anybody else the more personal you get with God let me ask you the question raise your hand in here if you're married raise your hand in here if you are married I want to ask you one question on tonight haven't you told your spouse things that nobody knows? I want to ask you the question. You know, uh, haven't you told your spouse things that nobody knows? Haven't you told your spouse things that you never told anybody? Well, if you are married to him and if you are locked into covenant, he's going to tell you some stuff that he's never told certain people. Oh, Lord God, have mercy. And so the beloved... Uh, uh, Peter looked at him uh, in the midst of the examination uh, and Peter came not with information but Peter came with revelation uh, revelation is internal uh, information is external uh, and I heard Peter saying uh, thou art the Christ uh, the son of the living God and Jesus replied on tonight uh, he said the knowledge of what you have just said uh, it could have never came from any man no man could have told you it you have just defied the realm of men and you have stepped into the realm of the divine oh Simon Peter Simon Peter you have now just walked in a dimension that nobody have walked in before flesh and blood couldn't have told you this your pastor couldn't have told you this your husband couldn't have told you this oh, oh God almighty ah the bishop couldn't have told you this what you got tonight is you got a revelation that opened up a key that will unlock a blessing blessed thou art Simon Barjona blessed thou art Simon Barjona the blessing is tied to keys and thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it tonight beloved I announce to us mm, that when you have a knowledge of God there are seven things that you have to look for uh, that will tell you you have a knowledge of who he is number one I want you to know that your life is blessed and you become a blessing to others you cannot be a blessing to others without a knowledge of who he is oh Lord can I preach up in here can I preach up in here can I preach up in here your divine identity is, revert, is revealed on a knowledge of who he is who God has called you to be and what he has called you to do is going to become revealed there is evidence of supernatural manifestation number three the spirit of God moves on your behalf every time oh number four you stand on a firm and sure foundation unmovable and unshakable when you have a knowledge of who he is you may rock you may bend but you will never break oh God have mercy when you have a knowledge of who he is there is wisdom and revelation godly knowledge and heavenly inside but the evidence of the knowledge of God operating in a life is when God gives you that key lift up your voice and say God on tonight release the key unto me that will shift my generation say God tonight I want you to release the keys unto me that will change my family I want you tonight to release the keys unto me that will shift Barbados I want the keys on tonight uh, that will bring about the healing that I'm looking for. Uh, in other words, Simon Peter, uh, the insight that you got from me, uh, the 
insight that my father give you it is enough to build the church upon the key that you have in your hand it is a strong key it is a strong key lift up your voice tonight and said I have a strong key come on declare I have a strong key I don't just have any key I have a strong key it is in this realm Simon Peter that you have power with God and power with man I will give you power in realms it is because of the key that he got that Jesus said whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven so the revelation that he had transcended realms he had authority in the air and he had authority on the ground there are some folk tonight that have authority on the ground the prime minister may have authority on the ground but she don't have none in the air unless you are a child of God I don't care how educated you are oh God have mercy you don't have power in the air but the real power on tonight is power over rams I don't just want to be existing I want power over land I want power over sea somebody said power I want power over water power over nations anything I bind it has got to be bind when I open my mouth atmospheres have got to shift when I command a thing it has got to move when I speak a word principalities back up powers back up demons back up thrones back up dominions back up demonic beasts back up satanic birds back up whatever it is in the atmosphere because I have power because there's authority on my life can I drop it like it's hard because there's authority on my life I have the power to shift my season I have the power to break a yoke I have the power to move in rams look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor tonight there's going to be a release of the power of God we are going to transcend rams we as the church are going to open our mouth in here and we're going to exercise power we're going to exercise anointing we're going to exercise glory because when the church lift up their voice when the church open their mouth when the church begin to decree a thing thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee I don't care where the devil is tonight he will run into this church because the ecclesia the called out ones the chosen ones are in the earth and they are operating I've come to let you know tonight that when you know him you act like you know him you act like you know him when you know him he fight for you can I talk to somebody when you know him he stabilizes you when you know him he covers you the Lord is a strong tower for them that know him he is an anchor for them that know him he is a rock for them that know him he protects you he moves on your life ah oh Lord tonight do I have anybody tonight that is ready to bind up the devil do I have anybody tonight that is ready to break a yoke do I have anybody tonight you're rather quiet on me tonight but I've not come to play I've got enough trouble in my life I've got enough trouble in my life my God to mess around up in here I've come to subject a devil it's my knowledge of God that is going to push him back you're not hearing me when Jesus was in the wilderness it was his knowledge of his father he said down shall not tempt the Lord thy God am I talking to somebody here thou shall not bow down and worship anyone but God the reason why tonight we are so quiet is because we don't have a knowledge but if you had the knowledge of who he is you will begin to bind up the words they're speaking over you 
you will begin to bind up the things they are saying now. Come on and stand to your feet up in the air. You will begin to break the very yoke that they have sent to your home. You think that the devil is playing now. Well, I tell you tonight he's not playing. You've got to open up your mouth up in here. You've got to open up your mouth up in here. You've got to open up your mouth up in here and begin to bind up his words. Bind up his words. Bind up his words. For the Lord says when you know him, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever thou shalt bind. Oh, are you in earth? Are you in the earth? Are you in the earth? Say, I bind up his words. Every attack they sent to me. Every attack they sent to me. Every demonic release they sent to me. The church is not praying tonight. The Lord says, whatsoever you bind. Every assault they sent to me. Every arrow they sent to me. I reverse the curse. Whatever it is that they sent to my family. Whatever it is that they sent to my home. What Whatever it is that is sent to my life, I bind it up. I break every chain. Are we in warfare tonight? You got to move up to your seat and set a bind it up. I'm on the third night of convention. I want you to move up to your seat. This is warfare. This is warfare. Look at you still in your seat. Be obedient and move up to your seat. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. Clap your hands and stamp your Shanamaka. Look at you still in your seat. Be obedient and pace the floor. Obey what the prophet is saying. Maka nasata. Shandolobokosha. 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 Well, I'm going to ask the bishop to come and say it for me. Move out of your seat. Clap your hands and stamp your feet. Pace the altar. Pace the altar and prayer. Pace the altar and prayer. Pace the altar and prayer. For you're treading on serpents. You're treading on scorpions. You're treading on the power of negativity. Every satanic influence tonight against you. Satanic manipulation. Satanic curses. Bind it up. Your family's on the attack. Your marriage is on the attack. Your money is on the attack. Bind up the curses. Bind up the altars. Bind up their strategies. Bind up their agendas. Whatsoever you bind. Whatsoever you bind. Bind it up tonight. Bind it up tonight. Whatever the devil have sent your way. Whatever the demons have sent your way. Tonight by fire. Tonight by fire. Tonight by fire. Tonight. Tonight by fire. I bind it up. Every demonic strategy. Every demonic endeavor. God has given to me power. God has given to me power. Every satanic law. Every satanic letter. Open your mouth in prayer. I bind it up tonight. White magic up in here. Black magic up in here. Whatever they have worked against your body. Against your life. Against your health. Whatever they have sent against you. I dismantle it. I dismantle it. In the realm of the spirit. I dismantle it. I said break now. Break now. Break. 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 Off your family. Break. Break. Ushers look out. Ushers look out. Break. Off your home. Break. Break. Makasata. Break. Power. Power in your mouth. Power in your mouth. Power in your mouth. Every spell, every hex, every vex, every incantation. Tonight, you're looking for a man to touch you, but it's in your mouth. Break it. Break it. It's in your mouth. Break it. Break it. Opashanda. Shambakata yada. Obarashanda. Prayer. Prayer. Matayada. Prayer. The struggle is breaking. It's breaking. Every hand tonight, pouring libation, demonic decrees over Barbados, 
demonic assaults, demonic agendas, demonic embargoes. Break, break, break. Shandolabo. Somebody pray. You pray for your family. You pray for your home. Prayer, 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 church. Prayer. It's when the church prayer. It's when the church prayer. Shandaba. Shanda da 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 baka. It's when the church. Kandalolobokosa. Prayer, church. Prayer. Shandalolobokosa. La katalabaka. We bind generational curses. We bind satanic strongholds. We bind witchcraft rage. Shanda da da baka toy. Shanda la 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 boko. Prayer. 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 Don't stop. Don't stop. Prayer. Clap your hands in prayer. Atayana. Clap your hands in prayer. Shanda da 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 ba. Clap your hands and cry out. Shanda da da Shanda da da ba. Take me higher. Take me higher. Shanda da Shanda da 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 ba. Shanda da 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 ba. Shanda da 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 ba. Prayer. It's got to lose you. It's got to lose your family. Hey, ya da 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 ba. Shanda da 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 ba. Kosha. Come on tonight. We bind Kundalini. We bind Hocus Pocus. We bind every demonic, every satanic, every Masonic, every occultic practice in this place, around this atmosphere. I bind it up. I bind it up. Whatever has troubled you, Shanda da da bakaya, Shanda da 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 bakasa. Somebody prayer, ma branda ya da da. You are praying. I like this. You are praying. You are praying. Come on, ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Yes, out of your belly, out of your belly. Yenda basa, Shanda da 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 boko. Shere da 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 bakata da da. Ma ra ba 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 basa. Keba shata. Matayada. Come on, bind it up. Bind it up. Whatever you bind. Whatever you bind. Heaven is upon us tonight. Heaven is upon us tonight. Whatever you bind. Whatever you lose. Come on tonight. God is in the house to do what you say. Yalabashata. Malabashata. Labrakata. Come on, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Some of you are being delivered. Rodosa. Rabakashata. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. La Manasota. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Plead the blood. Yalabakasata. Lebro Dalaba. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We pull down every stronghold. We pull down every high thing. We pull it down for the weapons of our warfare. They are not carnal, but they are mighty. We pull it down. We pull it down. We activate the blood. Let the fire go to our enemies. Let the fire fall. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost break every chain. Break every stronghold. Rebuke every strong man. Prayer. Yada kasata. Shanda. Fire. 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 Le ba 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 kata. Shanda do 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 Fire. God is coming into your homes. Prayer. Come on. Prayer. Le rekata. I know you feel tired. I know you feel the pain in your side. But push past the tiredness push past the pain your children depends on this your health depends on this your husband depends on this push push you are praying in your prosperity you are praying in your breakthrough you are praying in your liberty you are praying in your anointing oh somebody prayer somebody prayer I know you look for a meeting tonight but it's a prayer meeting somebody prayer your joy is coming your strength is coming as you prayer favor is hitting your life prayer prayer i see abundance prayer prayer i see victory prayer you are unlocking
give potential prayer purpose prayer power prayer 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 there's a passion you are unlocking prayer if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and prayer I will hear from heaven the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous it avails much prayer prayer we have become too accustomed for people to touch us but prayer but prayer when you pray for yourself nobody has to touch you prayer 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 we are breaking through i see demons running i see angels from the bottom of broad street coming up through broad street in the realm of the spirit i see angels lining off the bridge oh you're not hearing me i had visions in the spirit angels are lining off the bridge and locking territory you are in this place for a reason let the church prayer let the church prayer salvation will hit the streets of barbados there is power in this prayer there is residue in this prayer somebody in this nation because of this prayer made in this place tonight will get saved the gunman is getting conviction now somebody prayer the loss is coming back now the reason why we don't see souls is because we lack prayer but prayer yeah 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 i say prayer i say prayer come on come on come on keep praying keep praying masaprata yeah masata don't get tired don't get tired marabakasa mabratatase matabre don't stop don't stop makabatakata catch your breath and start again we will pray until something happens we will pray until something break we will pray until a release comes I say prayer la da ya da da bakada prayer two more minutes prayer come on push past mata ya de de shambara kata rebe kotore push 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 stretch your spirit stretch your spirit stretch your spirit ma brada lebe kada mata ya prayer keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying lift it up take me higher keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying now oh prayer prayer keep praying fire of the holy ghost I release the anointing prayer I release I see the fire over you prayer come on I want the ushers please prayer I see an anointing prayer prayer I see the prayer I see the fire more than a level cosa shed the little bosa strong anointing more than a level i want the ushers i want the ushers more fire more than a little boko more fire yeah bosa more grace somebody prayer somebody prayer somebody prayer somebody prayer i release anointing I release anointing. I release grace. Somebody prayer. More fire. More fire. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Somebody prayer. I see glory. 
I see glory. Somebody prayer. Somebody prayer. Let there be an anointing over your life. Let there be an anointing. Somebody prayer. I seek more fire. Hey, I see more fire. Hey, Shadaba. Mo. Shadabo. I see glory. Somebody prayer. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody. Oh, please help me here. Please help me here. I want some help. Shandola Kosa. I want some help. Shandola Besa. Shadaba Kosa. More fire. More fire. Andolebo. Watch it. Fire. Fire. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire. Madabosaya. In the name of Jesus. Fire. I want some help. Fire. I release anointing. Greater glory. Greater grace. For the half has not been told. I impart. I impart. More oil. More oil. As you are crushed. Maya, yeah, 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 yeah. More oil, more oil, fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost, fire, mother, baba, 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 yeah, glory. The hand of the Lord is upon you, the Lord is moving in your heart right now. That situation is dealt with, yeah, yeah, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, hey, hey. Hey, come on. Hey, fire, fire, right now, right now. Fire, 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 fire. Yeah, yes, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, fire, Holy Ghost, the anointing, fire, yeah, glory, rest upon her. Now, there's an anointing. Oh, my, 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 so yeah, don't stop. Keep praying. I agree. It's yours. Let my Nasaya. New doors are opening for you. Oh, yeah, 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 Fire, 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 more, 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 more fire, glory. I touch and agree. Oh, yeah, 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 Basa. Shandala la bosa. Shandala la bokosa. Shandala la bokosa. Lemana kande. Shandala bokosa. Lift up your voice. There's a fire. You will not leave without me. You will not leave without me. Oh. You will not leave without it. Hey, there's a fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. I stir you in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. Is somebody prayer? Say yeah, say yeah. Yokes have got to break. Yokes has got to break. There is an anointing. Yokes, rabababosha. I impart. I impart new glory. New glory, yeah, yes, yes, anointed in the house. There's a grace in the house. There's a glory, yeah, in the house. Take fire, take fire, take anointed. Oh, I see glory on you. Hey, 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 I see fire all around your feet. Hey, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fire! There's a fire! Oh yeah, 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 yeah! There's a fire! There's a fire! Ay, da, 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 In your hands! There's a fire! In your life! I touch and agree! I touch and agree! More grace! Let there be change. Yet a la massa. Lena mosa. Roba baba baba. Shanda de 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 de. Take the glory. Maka satayana. 
Let change. No, no. Fire, 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 take glory, more anointing, more glory, somebody give God glory, fire, 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 hey, prophetic fire, apostolic fire, take it. Is yours, is yours. I said glory. Shiba babo. I said glory. I said glory. And the lobos. Real the lobos. Oh, the lobos. The Holy Ghost is in this place. The Holy Ghost. Eya labosha. Mando labosha. Shanda labo. Hey. Fresh fire, fresh fire. Oh, Yalasa, fresh Morakando, Robosa, Morianda, more grace for you, more grace. Oh, Dabasa, oh, I rest my hands on you. I said, More grace, Ayala Bokosha, Andola Bosha. God wants to do something new in your life. New, new. God wants to do something new. Take the glory. Makabatosa. Go by the soul. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice up in here. Lift up your voice. Somebody shout. Somebody. Hey, receive it, receive it. Receive it, 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 fire, receive it. Ay, la, 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 baka, shema, kaba, baba, eh, ya, 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 mana, da, 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 baka, holy ghost, holy ghost, fire, ya, 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 somebody say fire, ya, 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 somebody say fire, ya, 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 say fire, ya, 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 fire, ya, 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 Say fire, fire, come to me. The lady there, the, come to me. The lady hugging Movel, Mr. Nichols, Pastor Nichols. Ayadaboko, keep praying. Come to me. Amaya. Come on, lift up your voice and keep praying. Ayako Shaya, lift up your voice. Boyana Sata, Meyana Koshaya. Menakula sayele, menakusa. If I see the Lord transporting you in another season, and it was like if the chariot of the Lord, I'm not saying you're going to die, you're not. What I'm saying is I saw the chariot of the Lord begin to move you out of one rough season into a new season. It was an ushering in. And because of the way you prayed in the previous season, there was a welcoming to the next season. Similar to what happened to Peter in prison, the door opened on its own accord. You'll find that account in Acts chapter 12. The door to the city opened on its own accord. The Lord says you're moving into a major season of divine wealth, connections, you're moving into a major season where God will cause the heart of the kings to be turned towards you. And your life that has been a struggle in previous season will be no longer a struggle. And the Lord says, I will move you into this because I've founded your heart to be pure. And even in your little, you try to do a lot. And the Lord says, the season for the lot is coming. And you've been ushered into it tonight. He says, because you know him, and therefore a key has been released to you. To unlock that season is yours. Take it. Yeah. It is yours. Go into your new season. Come on and open up your mouth and pray with her. What did it be? 
your ears will open in this new season your eyes will see on another level in this new season hey more grace Hallelujah. Hey, grace grace for your next somebody shout your praise and give God glory Shout your praise and give God glory. Shout your praise and give God glory. Shout your praise and give him honor. Shout! Come. Paula, come. Woman, come. Yeah, come. You, come. Paula, yeah, come. I'm, I'm closing. Rebound us. I see the Lord with a needle and tread. And like in pure tapestry, he began to mend your heart and mend your soul. For there are many underlying hurts that you can't even talk about. But the Lord says that I'm healing you. These past few nights have been healing for you. Pure healing. Pure healing. These past few nights have been pure healing. You have been refreshed. You have been reinvigorated. And the Lord says that I'm mending the broken areas and I'm causing the areas, the areas that are out of sync to realign Shakatata, wind of God whoa wind of God whoa fresh breath fresh breath fresh breath Come on, let's lift up our hands and give God glory as we prepare to go. Come on, lift up your hands and give God the best praise that you have. Give God the best praise. For in this season you will know him. And they that know their God. Come on, lift up your hands. They that know their God. They that know their God. They shall be strong. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. For them that know their God, them that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Yeah! Shout your hallelujah for the last time. And as I hand back the mic, I want to give the opportunity to anyone tonight that is here that do not know Jesus. Come on, don't stop praying. You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. If you are here on tonight, I want you to come in this anointing. Come in this moment. You're being touched. You feel the pull from the Lord to come to God. You feel the pull from the Lord to really walk with him. If you are under this roof on tonight, don't let this opportunity pass you by. I'm going to tell you a secret. The first thing... That you're going to hear is a voice tell you don't go up there in front of all those people that's the devil I i'm telling you that's the devil he will always try to preempt what god wants to do and so he will try to hinder you and block you from coming into this glorious salvation but i dare you to come right now and see your life be transformed changed set free for the honor and the glory of god well if you're not here and we are all saved on tonight i want you to lift up your hands and let's pray for the last time Father, tonight I cover these people. We know that we have walked into some deep waters tonight. We have troubled the waters these last three days. As we have come together from Sunday, the water have been stirred in this house. The water have been ruffled. And so we declare tonight that there will be no backlash. There will be nothing that will come back to us because we have come into agreement with what God is doing. No devil in hell will be able to attack us or our family, our loved ones, our homes, our businesses, our children as a result of being in these meetings. Father, we cover every individual and their vehicles under the blood and wherever they will be going from here, let angels go with them assign angels unto them 
assign angels unto their homes assign angels unto them in Jesus name and father let them go in your anointing let them go in the glory of God let them go in the power of your spirit and we know on tonight of a truth that keys has been given we walk in the revelation of the wisdom you have given us I said we walk in the revelation of the wisdom you have given us and I declare tonight St. John chapter 17 and 3 that Jesus on his departure from the earth said and this is life eternal that they might know thee the one true God and Jesus Christ whom he has said clap your hands real quick and get Come on, clap your hands. Come on, do you know it? Clap your hands. Hey, Come on, clap better than that. It is an hour to know it. It is an hour to know it. Hey, Yadabasha. Shando Bobo Amen To God be the glory Great things he Have done In our lives these past Three sessions from Sunday morning Until now God has been good to us and he has demonstrated and shown us his word and his will and his mind and his power. And so we are so grateful to God tonight. As these services come to an end. We have our parish director, Pastor Ford, Andrea Ford who is going to come to us at this time and she will give us the vote of thanks. So would you put your hands together and, and welcome her as she comes to give the vote of thanks. Amen. Praise God. I want to say the Lord has spoken. Let the church say amen. Can the church say amen tonight? Can we say amen to the ministry of the Lord tonight? Can we just lift our hands and worship the Lord just one more time? For God has spoken and the church says amen. Bless the Lord. I just, I'm here tonight just to, because God has already done all that we needed to, to be done over the last three nights day and the nights but i just want to say a big thank you to god the father the son and the holy ghost god is always right and he knows just what we need so can we just clap our hands to the lord tonight father son and holy ghost we give him praise because he's always right and he knows just what we need i want to say thanks tonight to apostle kevin Marshall and his wife and the church, his, his entourage, all of you. Come on, give them a hand in the house of God tonight. There are still those that stand between heaven and earth tonight, those that intercede, those that hear the voice of the Lord. And we give God thanks for you, sir and ma'am. We bless you tonight in Jesus' name. I really want to say thanks to the pastors on St. Michael South, Pastor Evelyn, Pastor Hines, Pastor Marlon, Pastor Cadogan, come on, give them a hand. We want to say thanks to all of them tonight, for God has used, uh, used us tonight in Jesus' name. We work together well, and we give God thanks. I want to thank um, everyone who came. I am looking for my little note. I want to thank Sister Sheldon's hus husbands, the prayer coordinator, Sister Michael South, and the intercessors who prayed and fasted, who kept the watch over these services 
I want to thank Reverend John Phillips and Reverend Paula Joseph Brown who organized the worship teams and the musicians. We, come on, give them a hand if you so desire. We want to thank the communications team, the tech teams. We want to thank Cyril and Wilkie Warner who got the ushers together and the car park attendants. Come on. We give God thanks for the counters. Whatever role you play tonight, we give God thanks for you. Come on and clap your hands unto the Lord tonight for God has been good. We give God praise because of who he is tonight. We give God thanks for what was accomplished, what he said to us. And I, as I leave, I just want to repeat what God said to us on Sunday. The storm woke me up. Come on, you remember that? And last night we heard, I'm seated to be lifted. Come on. I'm seated to be lifted. And tonight we heard, keys are for those who know him. Do you know him tonight? I want to say again, the Lord has spoken. And therefore the church says, Amen. Stand to your feet tonight. God, we've been prayed for by the servant of the Lord. So I just, I, 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 we're going to leave tonight. <laughs> and I am not a singer, but I just want to sing the chorus to God. Worship, team, can you help me to God be the glory? Great things he have done. Then we're going to leave. We've been prayed for. God bless you. Thanks for coming. Friends, loved ones, families, everyone. God bless you. And we look forward to putting what we've heard into practice tonight. To God be the glory, the first, first person, of course, and, we, and, we, and we're going to leave tonight in Jesus' name. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Oh, he did his life and atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth God bless.